We now return to Panic and Discord. Let's go find out what the hell happened. Earthquakes are never good. Gaz, this is embarrassing. I lost my lucky purple shorts. I'm telling you because I think I can trust you. If you find them, bring them back to me discreetly. I'll pay well. Okay. Do I know where those are? Nope. Gonna have to find them. Yogi seems okay. The crops do too. Well, that is very surprising. I was expecting a lot of damage, because in Harvest Moon, earthquakes fuck everything up. Um, but the earthquake here seems to have been just fine. But, I do know what it actually means, and we're about to go, as soon as I finish my chores here, and uh, explore something new. This is definitely m about the amount of crops that I want. Um, really, this <laughs> this is fine. Man, this season is loud. Between the birds and the bees and the everything else, <laughs> and um, I, I didn't realize what I was saying. Um, And and just, like, the loud music that comes in every now and then? I mean, it's like, wow. Just a little much. <sighs> it's another reason to keep my crops on this side. In future, I'll probably, if I ever have any more crops, and I don't think I will. Uh, I mean, the addition of sprinklers might change my mind on that, because it'll be that much easier. I think everything's watered there. Uh, but, man, I don't want this many crops. I think three plots at maximum will be fine. Okay. See, I mean, half energy already, just on that. So, do I have to water these? I mean, does that make a difference? Doesn't look like it. Not even noticeable. Okay, let's go talk to everyone in town. I mean, we gotta stop by Gunther's and drop off something at the museum. See if anyone else in town is completely freaked out by what happened. And I could, I mean, I could get a few more seeds, but why don't we just wait until I've actually accumulated something? And then I can have them all growing at the same time, otherwise I'm going to constantly have one that's off kilter. Hey Vincent, I want to look for bugs, but Mom gets mad when I'm all dirty. It's a tough choice. <laughs> it certainly is, Vincent. Oh, yeah. Come back when someone's working. Well, when does someone work? Donate my spoon. My spoon will be, uh... Well, I mean, is it ancient? It's a rusty spoon, but where are man-made artifacts going? I want to keep this as sort of like... Whatever. We'll put it there. It's nothing too hard about this. Hi, Penny. I don't have a school here, but I'm doing my best to give Vincent and Jazz a proper education. I don't think I ever actually did come in here to look at some of these things. Prehistoric tool, some kind of gnarly old digging tool. Let's wa let's water it, damn it. Rusty spoon, a plain old spoon, probably ten years old. Not very interesting. Nonetheless, it's a bit of Stardew history. Okay. You know what? I have a couple flowers here. I love presents. I never give Penny presents. I talk to her all the time. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Thank you. This looks special. Okay, well, she, I guess she didn't like that then. And now I'm out of flowers. Not, not a smart thing to do. Have you decorated your house at all? That's what I'd be doing if I had a house. Well, 
I'm working on it. Speaking of decorations... Hey, farm guy. I've got a question for you. Do you think I'll ever turn pro? Uh, you're destined... Now, that sounds really pedantic. Maybe, if you practice a lot. Yeah, well, I'm so good I'm not going to have to practice much at all. Yeah... I need you. And shit. <laughs> We're up here and I didn't bring the hardwood. Probably growing a lot of interesting plants on your farm, huh? Well, it's debatable. Why? Maybe I'll stop by your place someday and check it out. Okay. Actually, up here. Ooh, hey. Spicy berry. For this, the railroad. Oh, look at all this crap that's waiting to be harvested. So, I guess this is just stuff. <laughs> I mean, obviously, but it's just like hanging out here, and I guess I can chop it all down and do whatever I want with it, right? Because no one else is here. Probably should not be crossing the tracks like that. Hopefully there's some kind of warning, if there's ever a train. Let's not waste our energy on that nonsense. Okay, well, and here is the bath. And this is probably going to be the most useful thing for me. Can we actually go in here? That's the women's locker room. You can't go in there. Even though I doubt there's anybody here. Wow, really? We have to go all this way in order to even get to where we're... What is that? Is that really the... This is a, this is insanely detailed. Trying a shower with your clothes on? So where do I change then? Toilets? Alex's locker. There's a bunch of pictures of bodybuilders taped inside the door. Hmm. So where's my locker? This locker smells awful. You mean they put all this stuff in here and it's not really, like, interactive in that sense? Okay, when I change, does this change me? Nope, nope. You can't go naked. Now this makes this a little bit more inconvenient. This is, this is an enormous place. Holy crap. So, what's this doing for my energy? Oh, I see. Okay. I mean, this is cool and all, but uh, at the same time, I would rather have just had, like, an open pool. I mean, you know, Harvest Moon. You just jump in, you're done, you hop out, go about your business. Because I was hoping to <laughs> come in here and use this several times a day to kind of fill myself up here so I can do more work. Uh, we can not actually go back to the farm. But it's like, the time it's going to take me, let's, I mean, I hopped out of the bath at 3.30. I am not running. It is, I guess when you're naked, you're in walking mode. It's nearly, I mean, it's nearly half an hour just to get in and out. Not counting what you're actually doing when you're just sitting there, you know, how long that takes. Um, so what can I, can I, like, go down these tracks, or use them as a shortcut, maybe? Nope. Just blocks you off. Okay, well, wasting more time. Wasn't paying attention when I just left. Let's say it was 4.30 when I left the area. Hey, grapes! Actually, grapes are good for somebody. Somebody likes those. They're also good for energy. Do you see that? Okay, here we are. So, well, let's get to chopping.
Clearing these stumps right now is actually not helping me. I should be clearing out the southeastern end of my territory. My property. But if I'm going to be giving some hardwood to the bundles, then I'm going to have to collect some of it eventually. And I may as well collect it now. Especially now that I've got the energy. But man, I want to get rid of all these trees and these rocks that I just keep stumbling on in the middle of the night because that's really obnoxious. I mean, like, these things. Oh, that's not smart. That was dumb. I was not thinking. Wasn't thinking until it went over. Well, shit. Kill the home for butterflies. Like a monster. This takes down a lot of my endurance. I mean, just a lot. I thought a better axe was supposed to sort of alleviate that problem. Really, does it go out there? Oh, that sucks. Okay, note to self. Be a little bit smarter about how you chop shit down. Now the question is, do I sell some of the stuff that I've foraged? These are actually fruits that were just lying on the ground. Or, do I hang on to them until I find out what they're useful for? Because some people might like them as gifts. I mean, they might be good gifts. And in fact, Jass is coming up here on the 4th tomorrow, so I need to find out what she likes. Uh, why don't we run into town at the moment? Uh, if I'm going to run into town, I may as well take some of these, and we'll go hit the community center. Uh, anything I can eat right now? I mean, I could eat some of these. I'm not going to make it to the community center and back, though, am I? Well, I might. It's only 9 o'clock. I'm going to be low on energy, though, in the morning, unless I eat something. But I want to hang on to that. Okay, yes, Jass's birthday, and that's it. It's going to be several days until Gus. Is that something? It certainly is. Okay, now the construction bundles are over here, right? Nope. Nope. Crafting room, yes. It's just weird that they have, like, foodstuffs, and then... I mean, it makes sense for the room, crafting room, but... There. Okay. I could have brought a lot of stone. Uh, and in fact, I should probably do that at some point before I use it all up. The wood... I mean, I would have my 450. Alright, let's do it now or I'm never going to do it. I hope it only takes 99. Okay. So we'll have that soon. And hopefully that'll bring up something new and nice for the community center. Not sure what it unlocks, but we should probably get to it as soon as possible. After, of course, I've set aside for my own purposes. If I could squeeze it in, I would definitely like to be able to have the chicken coop 
mayonnaise factory thing going on uh, by the end of the summer. Or at least by fall, because we kind of need... Why did I open this up? To get rid of you guys. Um, I kind of need some source of income over the fall and winter. And obviously the animals will be the ones that do that. Of course, as I said, I also need uh, barrels so that I can begin producing the jam. Because I've got enough berries that with three barrels producing the jam, every couple days we'll be... We'll be making quite a bit. I mean, let's see exactly how many do I have. I think it was like close to 50, right? Yeah, 49. So I mean, man, I could I could do that for quite a while. Uh, I didn't find out what the rainbow shell does. I'll have to look at that. Uh, and grapes and spicy berries. So yeah, we'll have to have to look those up here in a minute. And uh, maybe I should just eat that instead of waiting around because I'll never get this freaking kitchen. Okay, 11 o'clock. Uh, did I put the dog today? Uh, I guess I did. Okay. Sleep! Oh, it appears to be raining. Fantastic! I don't have to waste energy today. I wonder if I can catch a cold by working in the rain. I mean, you could in the first harvest moon, so why wouldn't they have that here? Otherwise, why would you go to the doctor, right? Right. So, maybe... We'll go dig further in the mines, trying to get iron? I mean, I don't want these sprinklers, but uh, we need other stuff. What is this useful for? I mean, it gives me coal, but... We could use iron bars for the beehives, bee homes, bee houses. It's going to be a while before those grow up. Uh, what's that mean? Why is it that red? I could make one right now. It, oh, because it produces 10 for me in that package? Yeah, I could do that. Maybe I'll do that. And then I could just make some quick fertilizer and plunk it down, and we'd have a little, little batch of almost free food. Why not? Well, not, not free food, but free seed fruit. Whatever it makes. Anyway, uh, enough babbling. I'll end this one here. I'll see you next time.